What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I told you guys I was going to do it and I finally did. So this is going to be the first iteration of the camera comparisons that I'm going to be doing for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Now I'm going to focus on the Note 10 because as far as I know, I don't think there's a big difference between the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus in terms of the camera. And I've already shot all the photos with the Note 10, so I'm too lazy to go redo them. But right now we're going to look at the Note 10 versus the iPhone 10s. Now I took a lot of different photos. Now I just want to get it out of the way, all right? I'm not a photographer. I'm not some guy who's like super into photos and all that stuff. Like that's not me at all. Even though I make these videos and it might seem like that, I'm not that type of person. And mostly because I feel like cameras are already so good. I just wish phone manufacturers would focus in other departments. And I think this video will probably push that agenda even more because in my opinion i would rather have a way bigger battery and way better screen than having a way better camera because because i think cameras are so good that i'm just like yes improve the cameras but also improve other things too and as we'll go through these photos i try my best to kind of take photos in like everyday lighting conditions and everything i didn't go out purposely into the sun and like perfect lighting i just took things that i would assume that i would take in a normal day and as well as you maybe i don't know but this first photo that we're going to look at is actually a photo of the iphone 6s and as you can see there's really not too much of a difference you might even think that they're the exact same photo on both sides but believe me i had to double check they're different photos <laughs> And as you can see, they look almost identical. There's really not too much I could see different here. Now, the 10s has a dual camera setup on the back, so two 12 megapixel sensors. The Note 10 has a triple camera setup. It does have two 12 megapixel sensors, but it has an extra 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. So take it as you will. But in this specific photo, I don't really see that much of a difference. I'm sure if you zoomed in and you looked at the pixels and all that stuff, maybe you could see a difference. But in terms of this specific photo, I could not find any difference in my opinion. But looking at the next photo, which if I didn't already make it clear, and if you can't tell by the corners, the 10s photos are on the left, the Note 10 photos are on the right. And this photo is actually super, super interesting. So if you look at the left, you can see the 10s photo looks normal, looks great and everything. But if you look at the Note 10 photo, you can see that it just adds that little flair and it just looks so much more, I guess, high quality than the iPhone 10s. And as you can tell by my vocabulary, I'm not a photographer at all. I don't know the correct terminology for that, but and the way I took these photos, it wasn't like I lined it perfectly and like clicked on the focus and it changed all the settings. These are all unchanged. I literally let the camera autofocus by itself and then take the photo. I didn't zoom into the camera. I didn't crop anything. In these photos, I did crop them a little bit, but that was all after the fact. I didn't zoom into the photos at all. These are all on native settings. I didn't do any filters or anything like that. And the Note 10, in my opinion, does take the cake here. It looks so much better. And you guys are going to make fun of me about how dirty my window is. If you guys want to come here and clean it, you guys can do it. I don't think the tennis photo is that bad either, but you can definitely tell there is quite a bit of difference. However, I will say there is kind of an advantage with the tennis. You can kind of see that the colors, I guess, are a little bit more accurate. If you look at the Note 10, I mean, the flare does change up the coloring a little bit. But with the tennis, you can kind of tell that it is a black thing on the bottom or whatever. But that kind of covers that. Now, switching over to the next photo, I just took it of a simple light bulb. Nothing too crazy here. The lighting was actually pretty decent here and you can tell i mean i don't know which one is better because they both look almost identical to me however i will say that with the note 10 if we kind of zoom in and you kind of focus your attention on the metal part of the light bulb towards the lower end of the light bulb you can see that it does look a little bit more better in my opinion on the note 10 than on the 10s but at the same time it does a pretty good job at actually darkening some of the text on the light bulb too so it's a little bit more easier to read on the iphone 10s it looks i mean it doesn't look that bad but the colors on the light bulb do look a little washed out. And I do feel like the Note 10 does a better job at kind of darkening that text so, you know, I can read it a little bit easier. With the 10s, I have a hard time reading it. But with the Note 10, it's just a little bit easier. Also, looking at the background of the desk, you can kind of tell that the 10s, in my opinion, actually looks a little bit better than the Note 10s. And I feel like the 10s is a little bit more accurate. Even though they look almost identical, you can kind of tell that there is a difference. But this photo was taken indoors, and it kind of gives you a glimpse at a little bit of difference between these cameras. But if I had to say it, I might give the overall edge to the Note 10 in this photo. Now this next photo was taken outside, and this is just like a pot with some plant in it or whatever. And looking at this photo, I honestly am kind of confused at what's going on with the 10s because I don't know where the focus went. Like I said, I just took the photo. I didn't like purposely try to like make it so crazy. I just put it at the same location it was on the previous phone, waited for it to focus on something and then click the shutter button. And I think with the 10s, I don't know exactly where the focus is, but if you kind of look at the bottom leaf or the red rose on the first one that's kind of closer to you, you can kind of see that it's not completely out of focus, but it's not completely in focus either. If you look at the Note 10, that photo, in my opinion, is a little bit more 
more warmer, but it looks a little bit better. That rose that I was talking about in the 10s photo looks a little bit more in focus on the Note 10, but also at the same time, if, if you look at the rose all the way at the end, like the one above it, you can kind of see that on the Note 10, it does also look in focus, where on the 10s it looks a little bit you know, in focus and a little bit out. I feel like the Note 10 did a better job at kind of warming the photo and making it look really, really good. And as you can see, same exact photo, same exact lighting, but two kind of different outputs. I mean, the thing is the same. If, if you showed one person the 10s photo and another person the Note 10 photo, they would find things wrong with it and things good with it. But I would probably give the edge here to the Note 10. Now looking at these Rubik's Cubes, this is another example of an indoor photo. Same exact lighting, same exact everything. Not too much crazy, but if you look at the Note 10, you can see that the Rubik's Cube on the bottom is a little bit more brighter than the 10s one, so I guess that could be an advantage, but nothing too crazy, nothing like insanely out of the world here. Both pretty much the same at the end of the day. Now, this next photo is one that is kind of confusing to a lot of people, and I think you're probably looking at it be like, why would you even put this in the review or whatever, but if anything, this showcases a super interesting thing that I probably would not even found out if I didn't even try it. Now, this is the only photo where I actually tap to focus on both the devices, okay? So, if you look at the left, this is just a nickel, it's just a standard thing. This was on the same desk that the light bulb was at. Now, I went at the same exact distance from the nickel at, from both cameras. And as you can see on the 10s, I tapped to focus on everything and look at how blurry that photo is, okay? Now, granted, nobody's probably going to be putting their phone this close to it and taking a picture of a nickel like this, but if I were to compare these two, I mean, which one would you say was better? Which one would you say is more in focus? Now, I would say both of these photos are kind of out of focus, but the Note 10s is honestly better, in my opinion, at focusing on specific smaller objects. Now, like I said, if you're taking a shot of somebody else or something like that, maybe it'll look a little bit better, but... My man Thomas Jefferson over here, I mean, I kind of disrespected him on the tennis photo and then I retook it on the Note 10 and you can see it is a little bit better. So overall, I think the Note 10 did a better job at focusing in on that specific photo and focusing in on my man Thomas Jefferson. So kind of an interesting thing there. Maybe a lot of people won't care about that, but I found that kind of interesting. Now this next thing, kind of going along with the focusing thing on the tennis, you can see that I don't know really where the focus is at. It might be on like the little ridges on the little bench thing or whatever. On the Note 10 though, you can see in my opinion, the little whatever that thing is looks a little bit more in focus than on the 10s. Is it a humongous deal? Like I said, probably not, but I could see how some people might, you know, prefer the Note 10s, but some people might prefer the 10s, you know, but I think in terms of color accuracy and the way the photos feel, I think the Note 10 kind of wins here. Now, this last specific photo that I took was just of a Rubik's Cube. Again, another indoor photo. I don't really see too much of a difference here, but I do kind of like the 10s and the kind of glaring effect from the Rubik's Cube that we have in some, like, I guess by the green cube and by the blue cube in the back. On the Note 10, though, it looks pretty standard, and I do like how the Note 10's, the desk on the bottom, looks a little bit nicer and cleaner than on the 10s. That one just kind of looks all grayed out and kind of weird. But I do like that filter effect and that sunlight beam that we have in the 10s, kind of that's showing like half a circle or whatever. So in this one, I don't really know which one is technically better, but they both seem to be pretty decent. So I'll get, I guess it's a tie here. Now this next one is just a video and I probably will just play it with just me talking over it. But one thing to kind of keep in mind in this specific video is I think to focus on autofocus. And I do think that the colors, I think, look a little bit better on the 10s here, but I feel like the autofocus is better on the Note 10. These are all 1080p videos. No post-processing. I didn't do anything with it. I just literally just put it on my computer and then put it in this video. And like I said, I do think I like the colors on the 10s. I feel like optical image stabilization might be a little bit better on the Note 10, though. But I think the autofocusing is better on the Note 10 than on the 10s. As you can see, when we kind of get into the pot, I don't know what part of this video you're in, but... I feel like it is a little bit better on the Note 10, but that's kind of all really I wanted to hit on. Like I said, I think both cameras are very, very good. You know, they both have their strong suits. You might have just assumed that the Note 10 was the better one overall, but that's not really the case. However, what I will say is, and I waited till the end of this video to say this, and the main thing I want to hit on is that between iOS and Android, Android camera software has always been, in my opinion, so much better than iOS's. Apple makes it so annoying for us to even change the most basic of settings on our cameras. So in order for us to change the resolution that we're filming in or whatever, we have to go to the settings app, a whole different app, click on cameras and then change it there. We cannot do that natively through our camera app, which has always been annoying. I don't know why they've ever done that. But on Android, you are able to do that. And between the iPhone XS camera app and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 camera app, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10's camera app is so much better in my opinion. And and that kind of adds into the experience and overall camera quality too. Even if the camera qualities were exactly the same on both devices, I would 
still probably give the edge to the Note 10 because of that camera app. You know, Samsung does a really good job at not only their cameras, but their software as well. And hopefully with maybe even mid iOS 13, but with iOS 14, hopefully they redesign that whole entire camera app, add those features into the camera app, add more features into it too. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And for them to just keep focusing on their hardware and not improving their software is so bad. I'm talking about Apple here, you know, apparently with the iPhone 11, they're going to be adding the extra camera, but how? what good is all these cameras? What good is adding another 100 cameras if the software is not up to par with other competitors? You know what I mean? So between these two, I think in terms of the quality, maybe the Note 10 is better, but when you add in those features that Samsung puts into that camera app, I find that so awesome and I have to give them props for that. So overall between these two, I would probably give the edge to the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. I think it has the overall better camera, but not only because I think it not only has the overall the better camera, but also the better camera app. So hardware and software is really good on the Note 10. So I'll give that that. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.